Emojis, unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you've seen or heard about these ubiquitous shorthand symbols representing everything from smiling, frowning faces, tacos, burritos, even glasses of red wine. I must confess, even I use emojis now. But now, you know what we have? Femojis. Apparently everything is not fully represented in emoji land because a new campaign was recently started in hopes to add even more gender specific symbols that would make it easier for women to talk about their period. <laughs> Those proposed femojis include symbols like bloated, cramps, pad, plus period, PMS, and spotty. All right, ladies, what do you think? Funny to send to your girlfriend or to text your husband, hey, don't rush home from work tonight. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, the, the one that I'm having problems with right now. The bloody underwear. The bloody underwear is a little <laughs> much. That's gross. I mean, that one I don't like. I actually love, love, love the bloated one. <laughs> I want to use that now. I, it's hilarious. I think you better be pretty close to who whomever you're sending these to, and they have a sense of humor. Maybe better for a text message than for don't social tweet. media. Don't tweet, yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, no, don't tweet this? I just tweeted all of these out. <laughs>